Welcome to my Celestron StarSense Explorer app review. Today I just wanted to showcase exactly what this app is like. I'm also going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions having used it and I'm just going to be walking you through the different features and everything that it provides. So before I do so, I do just want to quickly mention that this is an app that comes with many of the different telescopes in the Celestron StarSense Explorer range. So in front of you, uh, you can see my Explorer 114LT and this app came with it, but I believe that if you get a DX, um, so an Explorer DX, then you also get access to this app and also many of the other LTs come with it as well. So it is free. All you need to do to download the app is you simply go into the Play Store or you go into um, the App Store on your iPhone and you basically search for StarSense Explorer app. Um, and from there you simply download it. It takes, it took me about a minute to do so. Um, and then you should find it on your phone as an icon of, of course and if you click it then the first thing that will present itself is the quick start tutorial now what i like about this um, is that the tutorial every time you completely close the app down uh, the tutorial will launch again so the first time you read it uh, i was a little bit concerned because i thought i'm not going to remember all of this and i might kind of get confused as to how to use it optimally but the good thing is you can always access the tutorial again so I'll just walk you through the tutorial because that gives us a good overview of how this app works. So, and actually I'll give you a little bit of a primer about the app. What the app is essentially doing is it's helping you locate objects in the sky. So um, one of the particularly good things about it, and I'll show you that in a moment, is that you can see what's um, available for you to see uh, at the precise moment in time. So depending on your conditions and obviously your uh, location as well. There's also an area for more challenging objects to observe. As I say, I'll walk you through that in a minute. So if I just show you the tutorial, so it basically just runs you through setting up your telescope. So it's saying, follow the um, setup guide, the telescope setup guide, you should get that as an instruction manual with the telescope that you get. Um, these telescopes are very, very simple to set up. Actually, if you are interested in the Explorer 114LT setup, then there will be a, a link to that video in the description below um, just to show you how it works and how easy it is. I believe most of the telescopes in this range is, in the range are relatively similar. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it does suggest that you insert the uh, low-powered eyepiece first and foremost. From here, you need to place your phone in the StarSense dock. Now, the dock is really, really intuitive. I really like how it works. So, all you need to do, so this comes all pre kind of made for you all you need to do is basically just slot it into uh, this part here on the telescope itself it's really really easy you then just use these screws to tighten it in place and adding the phone to uh, your telescope is also very 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 straightforward so this just clicks off this actually is actually just a, a cap you don't actually need to uh, have that on when it's not in use and all you do at this point is there's a video that explains exactly how to do it but if i just show it quickly now all you need to do is that pulls out, you slot your phone in, and that is essentially it. So hopefully you saw that. Let me try to show you again. This slots out, this comes out, and then basically locks your phone in. So that phone is now very secure on the telescope. So very, very easy to do. And I'm also filled with a lot of confidence in that as well. It's very secure. Let's go to the next part of the tutorial. It basically just tells you to center your phone uh, over the mirror the uh, StarSense Docs mirror. So you can turn the knobs at the bottom of the bracket until your phone's camera is view is centered, unobstructed in the mirror. And there's again, another video, so I really like that. Then it comes to your alignment. So it's basically saying that you need to align your phone's view to the telescope view. So it actually asks you to point at a terrestrial object around, around 100 yards away. So I could do that in my background here. You've got plenty of different things I could use, but it recommends a street light, a stop sign, a car license plate, or the top of a tree. So I'll probably be using the top of a tree. Then it basically asks you to center the object in your telescope's red dot finder scope. So the finder scope on your telescope, telescope will be one of these if you are using the StarSense Explorer range. So this is a red dot. Um, that's, that's pretty much all I need to say there. Uh, and then you center the object in your telescope's eyepiece. But again, you get instruction videos, only 14 seconds. It's very, very simple. Then you need to align your phone camera to the telescope view. So the way this works is via some crosshairs. So you just slide the camera view until the same object is centered in the crosshairs. Again, another video. And then it says we're ready to stargaze. So it says you'll need to wait for the sky to get dark enough to see the stars that are visible. That's kind of self-explanatory, but it recommends about an hour after sunset. And then from there, you can 
tap, uh, tap on the StarSense icon and it'll ask you if your telescope is aligned. We've just gone through that, so you should be in position. If you removed your phone from the dock since the last time you aligned, your alignment should still be very close. But here we go. But we recommend completing the process again to fine tune. So that is one thing to consider. You may need to change your alignment depending on when you are using this app. So let me just, this is just telling you how to use the app itself, but let me just show you that um, in a second. It's saying as well, um, you should follow the arrows to align the bullseye on an object. So the, there's essentially a bullseye um, feature in this app which helps you align. So there's three different colors as you can see here, red, yellow, and green. Um, and it's when, when you move the telescope, the bullseye will be red by default. And when red, the bullseye position is not entirely accurate. So essentially you want to get that green. Um, so this tip here is important. As you get close to the selected object, stop and wait several seconds so StarSense can detect stars. So as you can see, it's all about detecting the stars for you. That's what I really like about this app. So, and then you basically enter your code at this point to basically register your uh, app and make sure that you can, um, yeah, you unlock it and you can use this with your telescope. So this is the app itself, probably what you've been waiting for. Hopefully you can see this. So it's really cool. So this can all be, um, you can use your, your finger here to kind of move around and just see where, um, you know, what is actually visible um, in the sky at the time of uh, your, the time you open this app and you're ready to start observing. Now, there's different options here. You've got this one here, which enables you to select night vision, um, as you can see here. So, you know, it just changes the, the uh, how it looks. And you also can go back to um, the quick start tutorial from here. You can also have the, the camera setup assistant here as well if you need it. You can also save images and logs, which is great. And you can also change the camera controls from here. That's basically the main menu, that button in the bottom left. This is where I think the app really comes into its own. If you press this star uh, option, it shows you tonight's best objects. And it, there's so much that you can observe that you probably didn't realize you could. And this is where I really like this app because it just makes sure that you maximize the use of your telescope. So the moon, um, Jupiter, we've got clusters here. We've got some open clusters. We've got the Andromeda galaxy, double clusters, open clusters. There's loads here. Look at all these that are available tonight. And I'll show you something in a minute, but I just wanted to briefly touch upon the tonight's challenging objects, tonight's challenge objects, because this is just a great way to, as, you, as the name suggests, challenge yourself, try to see something that's a little bit more difficult. And some of them are amazing, like Uranus, Neptune, certain messiers, um, open cluster, so the Pingwall cluster. And what's great is you get these little images here. So the Bode's Nebula is one example. I'd love to absolutely, I'd love to observe that. Um, but you get an, an idea of roughly what they look like as well. So it can give you a bit of uh, direction as to may, what you may want to see. Now, if you click on them, this is where it gets even better. It gives you a description of exactly what the celestial object is. Obviously the moon's <laughs> kind of obvious, um, but it also, so there's quite a lot here. Um, it also gives you a showcase of what it looks like during its different phases. Um, it's just some really interesting information here and then there's some observing tips which is great uh, particularly if you're a beginner and then there's data so this data is really really handy as well um, because it says things like when it rises um, when it sets the next lunar eclipse so March 25th 2024 so I could put that in my calendar that'd be a really good time to observe it also the lunar phases so it's currently in its waxing crescent the next new moon is on February the 9th 2024 so yeah this you can you can literally plan your observations around this which is really really cool um, it's got things like the celestial coordinates so really really useful there's so much data in there there's an audio tour as well if you wanted to do that and then if you press the center button it will yeah it will center your uh, app to where you need to look then if you press this button here you can basically um, let's just say let's say still aligned then you can basically look, as you can see that, hopefully you can see that. So as you move your, your telescope, that's how you basically lock onto an object. And we've got the moon at the moment. And then you can search by a common object list, brightest stars, best double stars, more deep sky objects, etc., etc. constellations. 
uh, asterisms, etc. But this is just hopefully an idea of what this app is. If you're considering getting a telescope and wondered what this app will provide you and if it's worth it, I'm I'm really really like it. I think it's a fantastic addition, particularly on a telescope at this price point. I find it much easier to use than star charts and things like that. I think it's very intuitive. A few users do report that the alignment can become an issue. Um, it is one of those things you do need to play around with. It does take a bit of experience and there will be times when you do struggle with the alignment, but other times you'll notice that it's, it aligns really, really well. Um, I, just, I just really like it. I think it's really good. Downloaded really quickly, very intuitive to use. I love the quick tutorial. So yeah, that is the St uh, Celestron Star Science Explorer app. I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Um, with all that said, hope you have an excellent day.